What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
then your next chord is B minor 7. Okay, so on the left hand, B, F sharp. Well, on the, that's the left hand. On the right hand, A, B, D, F sharp. Okay, so you're going to play those three chords like three cycles. So you got... Now that you are here with me Baby, let's do it right Lady, you know just what I need So after you play it the third time, you're going to come out of it and go, I want to hold you all so tight So that chord is an A minor 7 chord. You can do A and E on the left hand right hand a c e g want to hold you i'm just going to do a i'm just going to do the um g sharp over here okay this chord is called a g sharp augmented seven okay that's the name of the chord and all you're doing is you're doing g sharp on the left hand and on the right hand, you got G sharp, C, E, and F sharp. Okay. I want to hold you all so tight. So you got your A minus 7, A, C, E, G on the right hand, and A. I want to hold you. You can keep the C and the E the same, and all you got to do is just take this A and this G. You know, take the A half step down to G sharp. Take this G, half step down to F sharp. Keep the C and E. You know what I'm saying? And on that A minor, then there you go. Okay? And then you play those chords all over again. Baby, just touch me anywhere. What I do when I'm playing the verse is I, and I always say this all the time, and I really encourage y'all to really learn how to play chords in different inversions. So, or just, you know, switch it up. So, okay. I said E minor 7. Now that you are in F sharp minor 7, B minor 7. Now, just to sweeten it up, sometimes instead of just playing E minor 7, I might play E minor 9, which means I just added this F sharp. Just, it just makes it a sweeter sound when you're playing it live. Okay, so all I did was just, I didn't change anything in what I showed you. I just you add this uh, F sharp right there. See how much sweeter that is? This is without that F sharp. With the F sharp. Okay, so you can do that. And then I still do the F sharp minor 7 like this pretty much every time. I think I showed you the B minor 7 this way, but you can also play it this way just to give a different sound. B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, and D. So that just gives you some flavor, some ways of changing it. So you might do A minor 7, now that you are here with, and then play the B minor 7 the first way. Then the next time, add the F sharp. Then I might play the B minor 7 in this inversion instead of that inversion. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it's just a way of just making it not sound exactly the same. It just makes it sound like you know what you're doing. Just change, you know, people, e even the people that's not musicians, they can kind of hear, oh, okay, it's, you know, they hear something different. They might can't explain it, okay? So, okay. Now, when you're coming out of the uh, first verse going into the chorus the first time. So he sing you sing the first verse, first chorus. You do go, baby, day with me, you're right. I've already showed you these chords. I already showed you that, right? The A minor and then the um, G sharp augmented seven. The only difference is when you play the second verse, all the chords are the same. You're still going to do the E minor seven, then F sharp minor seven. 
I'll do that, and then, so all that's going to be the same, and then, and then you'll do the A minus 7 to the G sharp augmented, and then, feel your heart be next to mine, this is second verse only, lady, I'll make you feel nice. On the first verse, at this point, this is when you went to the A minus 7 and did that. But on the second verse, you don't play that. After that, you're going to go to um, a C add 9. Okay, so it's a C major chord add 9. And then you're going to go to, oh, well, let me spell it out. C, D, E, and G on the right hand, double C on the left hand. And then you're going to go to... This is a G major seven over A, so double A on the left hand. In the right hand, you got G, B, D, F sharp. So um, when, when you're coming out of the second verse, you don't play these two chords coming out the first verse. The first verse, you just go, all right. Um, you just do everything the same. But when you're coming out there, and I, and I know I can make it right. Okay, so it's different. Just just remember that on the second verse, going into the second time you sing the chorus, don't go to. What you want to do is go to. Okay, and I think the words are. And I know I can make it right. Okay, all right, so cool. All right, now. We get to the chorus. Put your name in all night long. Okay, so you did, instead of playing the E minor seven like you did on the verse, you play a G major seven. G D on the left hand. G B D F sharp on the right hand. And then just like on the verse, F sharp minor seven. B minor 7. Okay, so the difference when you get into the chorus is you're not going to play E minor 7. You just go to I want to rock with your lady G minor. And then you do your all night long. Same chord. I want to roll. So now you're on a G major 7. And then you're going to do feeling so strong. Okay, right. Okay, so that's different. So, okay, so the first time G major 7, then you got your F sharp minor 7, B minor 7, then you're going to go, I want to roll, so that's the G major 7, now you're going to go to the F sharp minor 7 quickly, feeling so, and then you want to go to A minor 7, A, E on the left hand, A, C, E, G on the right hand, we played this earlier in the um, video, didn't we, yeah, we sure did. I'm feeling so You're going to go there And then you're going to go quickly to A D7 chord This is a D um, Not diminished What am I thinking um, Dominant Dominant 7 D dominant 7 Also known as this a D7 chord D A D on the left hand That's dad On the right hand A C D F sharp Okay so you want to go, so I want to roll with you, lady. I'm strong. I want to rock. So that's how I go. So, and then you go back to the G major 7. I want to rock with you, lady. All night long. That's the F sharp minor 7 to B minor 7 again. And then you're going, now you can go to E minor 7. Rock and roll and roll. And it sounds like the bass is doing something similar to that. So all, all I'm saying is if you want to, when you hit the E minor 7 on rock and roll and roll and rock, you can kind of just walk on up to this A. When you get to the A, you're going to stop. And then you're going to switch your chord to the G major 7 again over A. So it's going to be rock and roll and roll and rock. Make 
your sweet love, don't you ever stop. Okay, so, so all I'm doing on the left hand is going from E, F sharp, G, G sharp to A. If you want to do that, if not, you can just go rock and roll and roll and rock. Make sweet love, don't you ever. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. But if you want to try to be a little slick with it, rock and roll and roll and rock. Make sweet love, don't you ever stop. And then after the first verse, they go back to the. Right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I know I jacked that one up, but it's all good. I showed you how to play it correctly, like already. So, so you okay? So then you go back to the verse again for the second verse, and I already showed you how to come out of the second verse into the chorus again. So okay, now when you do the chorus after the second verse, you're not going to go back to. You want to come right out of the chorus and go straight into the bridge. So it's gonna be rock and roll and roll and rock. Make a sweet love, don't you ever stop? You and me, girl, share a drink of wine. We'll be one on one, loving through the night. Okay, that part right there. So when you're coming out of the chorus again, don't only on the first verse and the first time you sing the chorus, you will go to. After the second verse, go straight to the bridge. This is an F sharp seven chord, F sharp dominant seven. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp on the right hand, A sharp, C sharp, E on the right hand. You and me, girl. Now put that chord, as a matter of fact, on the right hand, I might say, you know what, play it this way, it makes it easier. So use your right hand to do the F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E. And then your left hand will be on the F sharp over here. Then put it over A sharp. So your right hand stays the same. And you're just going from F sharp. You and me, girl, share a drink of wine. Okay, so that's all it is. F sharp, dominant seven. Then F sharp, dominant seven over A sharp, okay? Drink of wine. And then you're going to go to will be one on one this is a b minor seven double b on the left hand you can add this f sharp in the middle if you like a b d f sharp will be one on one loving through the night this is a e7 chord e dominant seven e b e on the left hand g sharp b D on the right hand. Okay. And then, after that, all you're going to do, your next chord, all you have to do is take this G sharp and drop it down to G because you're going to go to an E minor 7 chord again, okay? And then, just like the verse and the chorus, your next two chords, F sharp minor 7, to B minor seven, okay? All right, so that's, I've already spelled these chords out for you before, F sharp minor seven to B minor seven. And then you're gonna come out of it, when you're coming out of the bridge, you're gonna do that C major add nine chord. We were meant to knit into the nine. So we, we played this earlier, but I'll spell it one more time. C, double C on the left hand, add the G if you want. And on the right hand, you got C, D, E, G. And then you're going to go back to the G major 7 on the right hand over A. Okay, so that's A on the left hand, G, B, D, F sharp. And then after that, it goes back to... Starts playing the chorus. All night, all night long. Yeah, 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 
what I'm saying? So all they doing is just playing the chorus. You know, when he's doing all his ad lib, baby, baby, just play the same chords I already show. I already showed you the chords already. Um, and then eventually, after he does that, like the chorus maybe two or three times is played, and he's doing his ad libs. They go back to the. I can't remember how many times they do it, but once they do it, the song ends on a B minor chord. You can make a B minor seven it, on the video. Look at the video. It just ends just on a B minor seven chord or a B minor chord. So it's double B left hand and B D F sharp. You can add your A if you want. It just ends like that. <laughs> That's how the song ends. So. There you go, Mr. Shades Michaels, your tutorial, and anybody else that's um, trying to learn this song. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, remember, there's a chord sheet available for $3 if you would like to have all these chords typed up, PDF and um, a Word document version. All right, y'all. It is 2.27 a.m. and I have to be at church in the morning and play at church by, e well, before 11 a.m. So, y'all know what I'm about to do. Nighty night. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.